Hi guys, this is JJ Halloween Guy here today to review for you my 2013 Spirit Halloween Silent and Deadly Clown. Uh, he's a really cool animatronic, very rare and sought after, although I got mine for a pretty, I'd say a pretty okay price. His original retail price was $150, and I got mine for about $210, plus I think it was like $30 shipping. So it came out to about $240, which isn't that bad, because I know a lot of these go for much higher prices. Um, he's a pretty good animatronic in my opinion. He's from part of the Clown Train theme for Spirit 2013. Um, here's his tag. The seller actually said that he's basically brand new, but he took him out to test. Uh, so yeah, pretty good condition. Hold on. And as you can see, $150, Spirit Halloween. Um... He's, to be honest, one of my favorites in my collection just because he's so cool. Like, it's such a cool gimmick of like a clown that's like super realistic. Everybody says this is my most realistic piece or one of the, actually no, like some of the Jemmy animatronics that I own are probably more realistic than him, but he's a really, really realistic clown. Sorry for the background noise, by the way. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm outside right now, well, in my garage. Um, yeah, he's just a really, really realistic piece, and I love the clothes choice, I love the pointy hat with the pom-poms, the face, again, very, very realistic, like, it looks like a real person. It is foam-filled latex, and it's kind of squishy, but not, not really. The eyes light up, he moves side to side, and shushes you. Um, one cool, <laughs> one cool thing about him, well, actually... Yeah, one cool thing about him is um, both of his arms are posable. I thought that the shushing hand was stuck in place, but it's actually not. It's posable. It is posable. And then this hand is obviously posable. And my, I guess you can call it a machete, kind of like a knife. I don't know. It's a big knife with blood. It's not that terribly bent out of shape. A lot of them are, like, really bent. The real problem is that the glue on the machete actually came kind of undone, so it kind of flops to the side, but mine's relatively really straight compared to other ones. Um, here are the original instructions in the Ziploc storage bag. I'm not going to actually read it, but you guys can if you want. You know, pause the video. And then here's his box. Again, seller basically said he's brand new, just taken out for testing. I got him uh, November. I got him, yeah, in November, so. And now it's March, so. It was a while, a bit, it was quite a bit ago, but, you know. Still decently new to my collection. I think he's a really, really cool animatronic. He, again, one of my favorites. Uh, silent and Deadly, move side to side, life-size prop, amazing detail there, right about that. Um, then the front. Eyes light up, move side to side, scary sound. So real looking, you may be afraid to get close to him. Again, completely true. And the other side's the same. Um, now, unfortunately, when I first got him, he was fully working. But um, now he's supposed to turn that way, then go back to straight, that way, then go back to straight. And when I first got him, that's what he did. But now he goes that way and then turns all the way to that way and then tries to turn that way again, but can't, and then goes back to being straight. Um, I think it's like a relay switch or something is the problem, but I have no idea how to fix that. So I don't know, it still works though. And you know, it's work, it works fine. Um, and eventually I will get that fixed, but I just gotta learn a little bit more about how to fix a problem like that. Um, so I guess I'll plug them in now, but first I'll show you guys the adapter uh, right here. Here's the adapter. I think it's, let me let it focus. Yes, yeah, six volt, 1.6 amp adapter. And let me see if I can plug this in one-handedly. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'll send them off now. Sensor's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It's motion only, I think. Here we go. Oh, he's fully working. Oh. Okay, then. Cool.
yeah, I guess he is fully working. And last time that I sent him off, like just before this review, I sent him off and he wasn't working correctly. So I guess now he just it is, I guess. Maybe I didn't have the adapter plugged in right or something, but now he's fully working, so that's cool. Come on. I mean, there's not much to the animation, but it's still a really, really, it's simple, but it's cool. You know, like it doesn't need to do much. I feel like they put a lot of, uh, like they put like most into the detail with this prop and it really shows. And that's why in my opinion, he's one of, if not the greatest clown prop of all time, just because like he's so detailed, he's super realistic. During Halloween, I might actually put pool noodles in his legs and then put some stuffing in his arms just to make him a little bit like fatter. Cause right now, like his legs are thin his arms are pretty thin, and if you look at him from a side angle, yeah, it's it's like really thin. But I'm sure some stuffing will fix that up. And there's Tower and Clown. I I just reviewed him. Um, one weird thing about Silent Deadly Clown is that um, you can't pick him up. Like Tower and Clown, I can pick him up, despite him being this tall. I can grab him. I put one hand on my, his waist and one hand on his knee and pick him up. Him, his pulls aren't snap locked into place. They kind of uh, just slide into place. So when you pick him up, all of his pulls just kind of fall apart and he just, you know, like falls. Um, I know, I think, uh, what the other? Oh, fleshy, the original flesh eating zombie is also like that. And a couple of SVI props from back in the day. Um, he's not made by SVI though. I, holy crap, I knew the name of who made him before this review. And now I forgot. I think it's Forum Novelties. No, I don't think it's Forum Novelties. It's, it, it, it's somebody, somebody made him. Um, yeah, I don't think it's Forum Novelties. I forgot who it is that made him, but I'm sure I'll remember. And uh, eventually. <laughs> but yeah, he's one of my favorite clown props, if not my favorite clown prop, especially that I own. Tower and Clown's also really, really cool. Um, he's tall too. He is, and I'm not making this up. He's six feet nine inches. If that that counting the hat, counting the hat pointed all the way up. Right now it's kind of like not all the way up, but like when it's all the way up, he's six feet nine inches according to a measuring tape. I don't know if you know the measuring tape's right or not. I'm assuming it is, but. As you can see, him compared to Tower and Clown, like, he's tall. He's a really tall prop, and you don't expect him to be tall. I know a lot of people say that he's smaller than they expected when they first get him, and then when they put him together, he gets so much taller. Like, when you first take him out of the box, like, he looks, his face and, like, hands and everything just look bigger on video for some reason. But when you get him out of the box, he just, he kind of is a lot smaller than you'd expect. But really, once you, like, get him set up, he looks a lot, a lot taller than you'd expect him to be. And then his shoes are, unlike Tower and Clown shoes, which are just like, you know, thin, squeezable plastic, his shoes are these hard plastic, uh, detailed, it's got the laces that are colored, and actually you can see the stitching, like they molded that in. They really paid attention to detail with these shoes. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to say about this prop. So see you guys in the next review. Bye.